this segment of Suffolk Headlines, we watch the first stages of demolition of the old City of Suffolk Municipal Building. Then we head to the Suffolk Visitor Center to tour the Civil War 150 History Mobile. And finally, we head to downtown for a fire safety blitz with the Suffolk Fire Department. Contractors with Armada Hoffler began demolition of the old City of Suffolk Municipal Building on Wednesday, March 11th. And what's going on behind us is the start of phase two of the E911 Municipal Center project. Uh, what the contractor is doing right now, they just started demoing the old building. Uh, for the past month or so, they've been actually prepping for this demo by doing hazardous material abatement in the building, removal of asbestos materials, removal of lead-based paint, those kind of things in preparation for this demolition. Uh, this demolition process will go on for about five weeks or so, five, maybe six weeks. Uh, the reason it takes a little bit longer than normal, they'll be salvaging a bunch of material out of here, recycling steel, recycling concrete, those kind of materials. So it'll take a little bit longer because they have to pick through all that stuff and sort through it. Um, after they complete the demolition, they'll then shortly begin the site work, which will be the start of uh, installation of, uh, you'll see a lot of field material being brought out here. Uh, as you can see, the elevation changes from Washington Street down to Henley Place is quite a severe elevation change. Uh, City Hall now sits down in a hole for the most part. <laughs> so what they're going to be doing is bring a bunch of fill material out here to actually compensate and uh, level the site out so that it's a gradual slope from Washington down to, uh, down to Market Street, and it's, which is what they'll actually build the parking lot on. Uh, after they get the field material in, they'll start a lot of the infrastructure for stormwater lines for the parking lot, drainage lines, and preparation of that uh, for the preparation of the construction of the parking lot. The construction of the parking lot is scheduled to be complete, and everything turned over to us uh, around August the 1st. Um, so they'll actually, you'll actually see the parking lot work probably finish a month or so before then, but they have things to do like landscaping and those kind of things. So. Um, uh, from basically July 1st to August 1st is about the time they'll be finishing up the parking lot. And phase two will be complete, and we'll have plenty of parking, and the staff and, and the public will be much happier uh, because the long walks will, will be over at that point. The 150 History Mobile rolled into Suffolk for a two-day visit on Friday, March 13th and Saturday, March 14th at the Suffolk Visitor Center. This exhibit is an initiative of the Virginia Sesquicentennial of the American Civil War Commission. In addition to the History Mobile exhibit, the event also included tours and a living history reenactment at Riddick's Folly House Museum, guided tours of historic downtown Suffolk and the Great Dismal Swamp National Wildlife Refuge, and a genealogy workshop and a history presentation. Uh, we are celebrating uh, uh, Suffolk History Days uh, here um, in downtown Suffolk. Uh, we have the Virginia Civil War Sesquicentennial uh, History Mobile uh, visiting us. It'll be here um, Friday and Saturday. Uh, today we have a, about a couple hundred uh, school children from area schools touring uh, the History Mobile of Riddick's Folly um, and doing other activities here around the, the property, the, the visitor center. It's a great event for people who love history or want to learn a little bit more about not only Virginia history but also uh, Suffolk history. Suffolk's very old and is uh, rich in history all the way back uh, to the Nansman Indians. In conjunction with uh, the History Mobile, uh, the City of Tourism office is offering several different tours of the Great Dismal Swamp, the Underground Railroad uh, Pavilion that was recently built, the Washington Ditch Boardwalk, which is another historic um, element of the Dismal Swamp. Also, our, our popular uh, Legends of Main Street of Suffolk Ghost Walk will be doing those both evenings, as well as a narrated bus tour of the downtown historic district. The Suffolk Public Library, who partnered uh, with us, is also on hand. They have their uh, uh, popular pop-up libraries and 
doing uh, several different events uh, here at the Visitor Center. A local historian Kermit Hobbs will be on site uh, to do a presentation Saturday at 2 o'clock uh, and also they'll be doing a genealogy uh, workshop at the Morgan Memorial Library as well. Suffolk firefighters from Battalion 1 recently visited citizens in the Finney Avenue and Central Avenue area on Thursday, March 12th as part of their Fire Safety Blitz program. The firefighters went door to door and distributed fire safety information to each residence. The firefighters also offered the citizens a three-foot yardstick that is a good reminder to keep all items that can burn three feet away from heating equipment. What, what's involved with the Fire Safety Blitz is after a fire um, occurs in a neighborhood within a 24-hour period, the next shift normally will come out and do a fire safety blitz, which involves going door to door, advising the occupants in the neighborhood where the fire occurred that there was a fire, damage occurred, and what we're looking for is to provide them with fire safe information. Um, they're provided with a postcard with some fire and life safety uh, information on it. We also check to ensure that they have working smoke detectors. Along with the working smoke detectors, we may install a battery if the battery is not um, operational or needs to be replaced. Or if they don't have any detectors, we'll install a new smoke detector for them. If an occupant isn't home, they're left a door hanger, which again gives the um, same fire safety information. And also if they need additional information, they can contact our office at 514-4550 and we will come out and, and help them with their smoke detectors if need be. Thanks for watching this segment of Suffolk Headlines. 